Hey y'all, so um, haven't done any updates on Project Gus Gus in a while. Um, just doing a little DIY project today. I wanted to make a way to hold my cell phone inside my Jeep because it bounces around, it slides around mainly when I'm driving. And that's how I broke my last phone. So we got a new phone. I got a piece of scrap plastic that was laying around my garage. Uh, it's actually a perfect size for a cell phone. So let me show you guys what I did with that and we'll go from there. So here is our piece of Lexan. Um, I already started drawing on this so you guys could just flip it over and look. But I made my marks. I want to cut this corner here, cut this little notch here so this side folds up. Then I'm going to cut here and here so it folds up. Now my goal is to have an, uh, the top section here is just one little piece. And then down here, I'm going to have this centered piece cut out so the charging cable can still slide through it. And then I'll have two little tabs that fold up to hold the phone in. Um, because I have to record, I got this piece of foam that came with the case. So, this is slightly smaller than the actual phone. And you guys can see how that'll sit in there. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little hacksaw. I'm going to cut this corner out, this corner out. Or this center out and this corner out. And we're going to cut out the big piece here and here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to clamp this like so with a block of wood and a vise and use a heat gun and bend it to a 90. Now let me get it mocked up or let me get it cut and then I'll uh, show you guys what I did and then we'll mock it up and start heating it. So here's our overall shape. You guys can see I'm going to bend this one up. I'm going to bend these two up and bend the sides up. What I'm going to do is take a piece of wood. I'm going to hang this off this piece of wood like this. And then use a heat gun and bend it down. And when that's done, I'll flip it over. I'm going to bend the same side up. Or the other side up like this. And the same thing with right here. If I can get a piece of wood across long enough. And then here like this. We'll see how this works out. So we're going to heat this up, we get a good heat on it. The metal, or the metal, the plastic will start to bend. So make sure you heat it on all sides. You want to run it slow over the plastic, that way it heats it evenly. And as it gets hotter, it'll start to droop. It'll start to bend itself. See? Now this might not be how a professional would do it, but this is how, what works for us in this little garage of mine. So, you take this, and you guys can see the clamp got in the way, so it's going to screw me up there. Let me fix this real quick. We're going to get this side nice and hot. Just take your time and heat it evenly. Yeah, this one will start to droop the same way the other side did. bent now we'll go to the other sides now the other ones might prove a little trigger because I have to try to bend them while there's already bends in the fronts and back that might take some thinking I gotta let this metal cool off but I'll show you guys what it looks like to have the sides done front and back strictly for demonstration purposes because I can't hold my phone heat this and do it all one-handed my game plan is I'm gonna take this 
and heat this up and then use this block of wood to fold it up on my piece of angle here and I'll repeat it on the other side so let me test it out and see what I can do well here's the finished product it clears the ashtray, it clears the shifter I used two 8 cent rivets and it's secure mounted a piece of foam underneath it to add a little more support not foam but um, just edging and my phone fits tight in it, I'll give you guys a still shot. Well, that was my way of making a cheap, affordable DIY phone holder. I had that plastic laying around, I had a heat gun, I just used a block of wood and a piece of scrap angle iron and another piece of old banister railing that I had laying around to push it up because it gets hot. I basically bent it to form. It's not perfect, but it's, you know, it works. I used two eight inch, eight inch rivets to pop it down right next to my shifter console. It clears the shifter and works flawlessly. Thanks for watching.